So you just found out about programming, and you found out you really, really love it, especially web development, and you want to look into becoming a web developer, but you're not really sure what path you want to take. Maybe you want to be a UI designer, a UX designer, a front-end developer, back-end developer, full-stack developer. Maybe you don't even know what all these things mean. Well, that's perfect for you to come here, because in this video, I'm going to tell you the differences between all these different types of developers and show you which one will be best fit for you. So without any further ado, let's get started now. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle, and I'm here to simplify the web for you. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos of me simplifying the web. Now on the topic of web development, there's really two main things that people think of, and that's backend and frontend, and then kind of the third one of full stack development, which is the combination of both backend and frontend development. Those aren't the only types of developers out there though. I'm going to start with them at the beginning though, because I think they're the easiest to understand the differences between. We'll start with a backend developer. A backend web developer's job is to take care of everything that the user doesn't see. They take care of the server, they take care of the API, they handle all of the incoming requests, handle the database interactions, they take care of pretty much everything that's on the back end of the website that the user will never see. The front end developer, on the other hand, they take care of essentially everything the user interacts with. They're dealing with the HTML, the CSS, the JavaScript, React, any front end libraries, for example. They're really building the user experience for the users as well as potentially doing design work, but maybe not. They may just be doing JavaScript work or just HTML work and not really as much design work. But that's kind of the main separation between backend and frontend. The idea of a full stack developer is someone that does both backend development and frontend development. Usually they're not as in-depth into either one of the topics, but they're good at both of them and are really good at gluing the two together. They're really good at making the connections from the front end to the back end, which is really important. Now you may think that those are the only options out there for web development, but inside of each of these options of back end, front end, and full stack, there are tons of other specializations, and there's also even options outside of that realm. One of the biggest things that people forget about is the idea of DevOps. And DevOps are the people that take care of all of the stuff that happens even behind the end of the backend. They're like the back backend people. Essentially, DevOps deals with making sure all of your stuff works properly on your servers. They deal with setting up your servers, getting all of your applications connected on your servers, setting up your database, making sure your application can talk to your database, doing all of that fancy backend work that even the backend developers are not very good at. For example, me, I am not at all good at DevOps. It took me forever to get my own website up and running, so DevOps is definitely not my specialty. But when it comes to other specialties like full stack, that is really where I specialize. So you don't have to be an expert in all of these different territories. You really just need to choose the one that resonates best with you. In general, if you're more of a design focused and creative person, you may like the front end more. For example, me, I enjoy the front end more than the back end for the most part because I have a more creative side to myself. Other people that really like the more logical side of things may enjoy the back end more because there's not any of that creativity aspect, you're not really creating user designs, you're more implementing business logic, APIs, that kind of stuff, server interactions, and not so much user interactions. So already we've broken down what we're doing into four main parts. We have DevOps, which is way on the back, we have the back end, then the full stack people, and then the front end people, and that's kind of the bridge from all the way on the back to all the way on the front. But inside the front end, there's even more that you can break down into. If you're a really creative and design oriented person, you can be more of a front end designer or even a graphic designer where you spend most of your time in HTML and CSS and not nearly as much in JavaScript. And you may even work in programs such as Sketch, Figma, or Illustrator where you're actually building designs not in code but in some other program specifically meant for building out web designs. This is a really great route for someone that's really creative and really likes design. I am not nearly as good a design as I need to be to be a full front end designer. So that's why I stick more in the full stack side of things because I prefer to be able to do both. Also in the front end, you have UI and UX designers and developers, and these people, their goal is to really make either the user experience really good or the user interface really good. So the user interface people are really about making the site look really good, while the user experience people are about making the site really easy to use for the users. These two roles really have a lot of overlap between them, so I like to kind of group them into one section, but generally the UX people, so the user experience people, are going to work a bit more on the JavaScript side of things, while the UI people are going to work a bit more on the CSS and HTML side of things, but there's a lot of overlap between the two, so really if you're going to do one, you can also do the other one fairly easily. Another kind of forgotten type of developer out there for web development is someone that specializes only in the database. All they do is work on writing really efficient database queries 
and making sure all of the database related information between your app and to your database is really solid and works really well. These kind of roles usually only crop up in larger companies that have such large databases and interactions that they actually need specific database people, while smaller companies usually will rely on the back end or potentially even the front end developers working on building up the database as it needs to be. In general though, you'll see mostly the back end developers working on the database or specific database people only. So now that we've broken down and defined all the different types of developers out there, let me break down why you would want to choose one over the other based on your specific personality type. And we're going to start with DevOps because DevOps is by far the most different out of all of the different types of developers. And the DevOps developer is someone that really enjoys working on the very nitty gritty machine level things because you're not going to have almost any graphical interfaces. Almost everything you do is going to be through a Linux terminal or command line and you're going to be most likely SSHing into servers that you're controlling through your company and doing a bunch of command line related interfaces and also just hooking up all the different infrastructure potentially on AWS or some other platform like DigitalOcean. If you really enjoy that nitty gritty of how the entire internet works together and is connected and how servers and databases communicate between each other and you don't really need graphical interfaces, you like to prefer to work in the command line on Linux, then DevOps may be a great option for you and I would definitely look into it. Now moving a little bit further away from DevOps, we have the database related people. And this is a little bit more removed from web development than the other options, but it's still something very connected to web development. So if you enjoy writing things in SQL such as Postgres, MySQL, even NoSQL such as MongoDB, and you just really are into optimizing those queries and writing really complex SQL queries, then I would highly recommend looking into a database option at a potentially larger company. So next, we're going to move on to the backend developer, which is kind of the very first step in development that most people think of when they think of the web. And the backend developer is someone that generally really likes the logical side of things more so than the creativity side of things. You're going to be doing a lot of work on defining your controllers, your routes, your models, your database interactions, as well as things such as testing. In the backend, testing seems to be much more prevalent than in the front end, even though recently the front end has gotten a lot better at testing but I definitely say that the backend is much more further along for testing. So if you really like that logical, defined, tested application, I'd highly recommend going with the backend over the front end. Also, another nice thing about the backend over the front end is in the backend, you're not going to have to deal with different versions of browsers. The software on the backend is defined by you, so it's always going to be the same version, which means it can be easier to work with because you don't have to worry about supporting a bunch of older versions of things on the backend like you do on the front end. So if you enjoy that level of stability and testedness, then I would highly recommend checking out backend development over frontend development. Next, we're going to skip over full stack development and come back to that one last because it's a combination of both backend and frontend. And then we're going to jump into frontend development next. Now with frontend development, you're really going to like this if you are the more creative person like I've mentioned. In the frontend, you get to do a lot of creative work where you design the CSS for how your site's going to look. You get to design the interactivity through the JavaScript and you get to be the closest to what the user is actually seeing. So what you design is actually what the user sees, which can be really rewarding to know that what you're building, the user is actually seeing and interacting with and actually appreciating. Another thing about the front end though that you may not like as much is that the front end generally has potentially less test because it's a bit newer. The idea of doing a lot of work on the front end is much newer than the back end, which has been around for so long, which also means that things are changing a lot in the front end. You know, we have things like React and Vue and Angular. They're all trying to compete to be the number one framework right now, and new frameworks are coming up all the time, which means that if you choose the front end route, you're most likely going to have to spend more time learning things than if you went the back end route, since things change so much more on the front end. I actually find that to be a benefit because I love learning new things, so if you enjoy learning things, the front end would be a really good option for you. Also, another downside potentially of the front end is you have to deal with supporting older browsers because browsers are evolving over time, but you can't guarantee all your users are on the latest browsers, which means that you sometimes have to constantly support older browsers, which means you need to make sure your code is tested on all these different browsers, which can be difficult to do. Going a little bit further down the front end route, we have the UX versus UI designer. And essentially the difference between these two is they both are very creative and design focused, but a UI designer is going to spend much more time dealing with CSS and actual presentation and how things look, and they're even going to most likely deal with tools such as Figma and Sketch to create those designs, while a UX designer is going to spend more time working out how things actually work. They'll be the people building components in the library such as React or Angular, so they're going to be more in the JavaScript world, while the UI designer is going to be more in the front-end world on the CSS. And it really depends on if you enjoy that more design focus of building something based on looks, 
or if you enjoyed the user experience side of things in the JavaScript and making things actually function well for the user. But it really doesn't matter too much which one of those you choose, because as I said, they have a lot of overlap between the two, which is why in many smaller companies, they don't have specific UX and UI roles, they just have a front-end developer. And now lastly, we're going to talk about the full stack developer. This is a role that a lot of times you actually won't see as much in larger companies because they want to have dedicated backend and frontend people. But in smaller companies that don't have the money to be able to support a full frontend team and a full backend team, they're going to hire full stack developers. And the idea of a full stack developer is that they're good in both the backend and the frontend. They're not going to be as good as a full time backend developer or full time frontend developer, but they're going to be better as one person at making both of them work than if they had just a backend developer or just a front-end developer. So the idea of a full-stack developer is to just be really well-rounded in all the different technologies that come with backend and come with front-end. You don't have to be an expert, but you need to be passable and good at essentially building out a full application from the very, very backend connecting your database all the way to how it looks for the user using the CSS and HTML and potentially even creating designs in tools like Sketch or Figma. Now, if after all of that, you're still unsure which route you wanna take, I would recommend just going with the full stack route for now because that at least will expose you to both the front end and the back end of web development. And as you get deeper into both front end and back end, you're most likely going to find one that you prefer over the other. And once you do, I would spend the majority of your time working on that one that you prefer so you can become really proficient in either the front end or the back end if that's your route. Otherwise, like I mentioned, you can go with the database route or the DevOps route if that's your cup of tea. And that's all I got. If you think I missed a developer role, make sure to let me know down in the comments below because I'd love to hear the options out there that I hadn't even thought of. Also, if you want to see more of my videos, make sure you click over here to check them out and subscribe to my channel for more videos where I simplify the web for you. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.